Previously on Educating the League, we finished sixth in League One and lost to Rotherham in the playoff semi finals. No! But all that means is that I am even more determined than ever to get promoted this season. That target looked like it was going to be a difficult one as we started the summer window with a transfer budget of minus £322,000 until I had a brainwave. I think I just... Yeah, I just had an idea. We sold Rob Dickey's transfer clause for £776,000 and that as well as friendlies against Manchester United, Arsenal, Newcastle and Crystal Palace all helped to raise funds as he went from minus 581 k in the bank to plus £411,000 and the transfer budget skyrocketed up to 662000 We also sold Ed McGinty for £65,000, Elliot Moore for sixty k, and the young Brazilian Jao Enrique for £35.5k, rising to £79,000. That all means that we could then have a very busy incoming summer transfer window as Harvey Nibs joined us on a permanent deal. James Trafford and Thomas Sang both joined us on loan. Luke O'Neill joined us on a full-time deal after a very good loan deal last season. Divan Mubamba and Longello come in on loan. Also, Longello costing us 60k a month. Connor Coventry, Zach Orr, Janelle Kwanza and Bakuna also joined us before the legend that is Mikel Antonio joined us on a permanent deal for the season. £4,000 a week we are paying him to not only play for us, but also to scout for us. So that is a very good deal. Leon Charles from Bolton came in after scoring 20-odd goals last season. Alex Mighton, Daya Mebudi and Tony Spriggett followed him in through the door. Alex Mighton especially, I am excited to see this season. As for the pre-season results, we lost to Arsenal 3-2, Man U beat us 3-0, as did Newcastle, but in the only other pre-season results that mattered, we beat my hometown team, Kings Lynn 2-0, beat Crystal Palace 2-1, and we had a very sweet result as we beat Cadbury Athletic 5 goals to nil. As the season kicks off, we're predicted to finish third in the league behind Cardiff and Coventry. That optimism from the bookies looked to be well placed as Harvey Nibs and Scott Banks put us 2-0 ahead against AFC Wimbledon within the first five minutes to give us a very comfortable victory on the opening day of the season. Our second string team then lost 2-1 to MK Dons in the opening round of the Carabao Cup. Max Dean giving MK Dons the lead. Marcus Brown equalising for us, but Owen Dale eliminating us from that competition, which to be honest, I'm not too upset about. Back in the league and second half goals from Fabio Zello and Aidan Mars gave Barnsley a 2-0 victory at Oakwell as we were very disappointing. We returned to Casson Park and we got a 1-0 victory thanks to a 75th minute penalty from Scott Banks as even though we were still poor, we got the victory and that's all that matters. Our problems on the road continued as Bristol Rovers turned on the gas to get a 2-0 victory against us thanks to goals from Cole Stockton and Jack Diamond. We then finished the month with a very eventful game against Walsall FC, 
Donovan Daniels gave the visitors the lead in the 41st minute before he was then sent off in the 79th minute, just a few moments before Mikel Antonio's first goal for us rescued us a point as the game finished one goal apiece. Well, that's the summer window all wrapped up and the first month of the season. It's not been the best start. Can we turn it around? You're going to have to find out in the next episode of Educating the League. See you on the flippity flip.